narrator, excited tone. What if I told you there's an engine so revolutionary it could rewrite the rules of combustion forever? A Spanish startup just unveiled their all-new one-stroke wonder, smaller, lighter, and more efficient than anything we've seen. But here's the twist. It's not what you think. Some call it genius. Others say it's too good to be true. Buckle up, because today, we're exposing how this could change the future of cars, planes, and even EVs, or why it might be the biggest engine controversy yet. With the current craze about electric vehicles and environmental consciousness, a Spanish company has taken a different approach towards sustainability and made headlines in the process with their new one-stroke Erex engine. We're going to take a deep dive into how it works and how it could potentially change the way we make cars in the near future. So join us and be the first to know why the new one-stroke engine will end EVs for real. How does a typical engine work? Usually the term engine is used to refer to the internal combustion engine, which is used in cars, motorcycles, and planes. A typical IC engine you find in a car works by igniting fuel with air to produce small controlled explosions in multiple combustion chambers that generate mechanical energy. The engine cycle starts with intake of air into the combustion chamber where it mixes with the fuel, providing the oxygen it needs to initiate combustion. A piston moves upwards or in towards the chamber, compressing the A-fuel mixture to a suitable level. Once the mixture has been sufficiently compressed, a spark plug generates an electric spark which ignites the mixture and the burning gases quickly expand, creating a small explosion that pushes the piston down or away from the chamber. This is called the power stroke. The downward motion of the piston is transferred to a crankshaft through a connecting rod. The crankshaft converts the linear motion from the piston into rotational motion that can be used to turn the wheels of the car. After the power stroke, the piston moves back up into the chamber, pushing out the burnt gases from the chamber into the exhaust system. The piston moves out away from the chamber again, and A flows into the chamber to start the process again. The E-Rex engine follows the same general working principle as other internal combustion engines, but a couple of things make it special. First of all, while most IC engines have one moving piston per chamber, the E-Rex engine has two opposing pistons that move towards and away from each other. This allows it to be far more compact. In fact, INN engine says that a four-stroke engine with the same power output as an E-Rex would be four times as heavy. This design also allows it to be more efficient. Also, when gases expand, they do so in all directions, and having a piston on one side and a wall on the other means a lot of energy is lost in the other direction. However, once you put a piston on the other side, Less energy is lost and can now be used to push the other piston in the opposite direction. The other peculiar thing about this engine is a wavy swash plate at the bottom of a row of pistons that rotates when pushed on by a piston, which in turn pushes the adjacent piston up into the chamber, allowing for even more fuel efficiency. Variable compression ratios are another big advantage to this setup. When the swash plates are set up in a way that allows both opposing pistons to be in sync, they both meet at their top dead center, TDC, with the least amount of space between them. This creates the highest possible compression ratio. However, one swash plate can be turned a little to put the opposing pistons slightly out of sync, increasing the space for the gas in the chamber and reducing the compression ratio of the engine. This allows the same engine to be optimized for different and more sustainable fuels like hydrogen or natural gas with just small tweaks to the swash plates. Another great thing about the E-Rex is its balance. It has adjacent opposing pistons whose movements cancel each other out, 
reducing vibrations and giving it perfect primary balance. Not only that, because energy is transferred through its swash plate, there are no connecting rods, which is one of the reasons it's so light, and it also has a perfect secondary balance as a result. This means that the E-Rex engine is extremely quiet with almost no vibration. While the lack of a crankshaft and connecting rod greatly reduce the weight and noise of the E-Rex, this creates one significant problem. The weights on the crankshafts and conventional engines act like a lever generating a pretty big chunk of the vehicle's total torque, meaning the torque output of the E-Rex may not be too impressive. Their website claims it can put out 120 newton meters, which isn't bad by any means. But they didn't say what RPM this was, at, meaning it is probably at the higher RPM range that we see this talk. This probably means that it might have a decent top speed, but will struggle a bit to get the car moving. In fact, a prototype has been tried and shown running in a Mazda MX-5. However, from the video, we can see a supercharger feeding compressed air into the engine. This means that the E-Rex engine was never actually meant to be a standalone replacement for normal car engines. Also, the engine has eight pistons, which gives it the same piston ring friction as a V8 engine. So all the fuel efficiency gain from its opposing piston design might just end up being lost to friction since there are so many pistons. This also raises the question about maintenance, since more friction usually means more mechanic visits. Where it shines, though, is range extension. Its small size and a weight of just 35 kilograms combined with almost no vibration make the E-Rex engine an excellent range extender for plug-in hybrid vehicles, allowing for more space in the chassis, and it's so quiet that you won't even know it's there. And its variable compression ratio means more hybrid can run on hydrogen and become green. It is great for small airplanes because it is so light. In fact, I and an engine created the B-Rex, a modified version of the E-Rex that's even smaller and lighter. The E-Rex can also be used for powering ships and electricity generation. While all this is great, some of you have probably noticed something off about the E-Rex engine. An engine stroke is the complete movement of a piston in a cylinder from one end of its travel to the other. And the stroke number of an engine is the number of complete movements a piston makes in one engine cycle. So the pistons in a four-stroke engine change direction four times between one ignition and the next, 1-2-3-4. And with a two-stroke engine, the pistons change direction twice between one ignition and the next, one to two. Now with the E-Rex engine, we have one and two directional changes, making this a two-stroke and not a one-stroke engine. So why would IN engine claim that it's a one-stroke when it is clearly a two-stroke? Turns out it's just marketing clickbait. High oil consumption and low power output are drawbacks of traditional two-stroke engines, and they were worried that most people would immediately start thinking of that if they just called it a two-stroke engine, and it actually doesn't have any of these issues. This isn't the only misleading claim, though. Earlier, we made it clear that the E-Rex engine was probably not designed to power a car by itself because it can't produce enough torque at low RPMs to be good at it. But INN Engine still makes the claim that it will replace conventional four-stroke engines in all current applications and more on their website. Even going as far to say that it is four times more powerful than any conventional four-stroke engine even though they list the applications of the E-Rex on the same website and powering. A car by itself isn't there, which definitely raises some eyebrows. Some people may find this approach kind of concerning, especially since INN Engine has also turned to crowdfunding for the project, which isn't inherently bad, but there are less checks in place with crowdfunding as opposed to more conventional investing methods. That said, the E-Rex engine is definitely an impressive piece of engineering that you should definitely be excited for, especially with its size, balance, 
and most importantly, its variable compression ratio. It showcases extremely innovative solutions and a ton of benefits when applied properly, as long as INN Engine doesn't try to make it out to be something that it just isn't.